Let's now look at another example. It says 13,000 is invested for three years at 15% per, per annum compounded monthly. Calculate the future value of the investment using the nominal rate. What you're going to do first, you know the formula, so we can just plug it in already. So we'll have A equals to 13,000. Open up the bracket. That's 1 plus, remember our decimal, that's 0 0.15. Divide by what? Divide by 12 because you're getting interest 12 times a year to the power of? Very, very important. People, listen to me carefully. What and better. Let me just stop this at the moment. Remember, how many years are you going over? That's very important. It's, it's so a total of important. three. Yeah. So now look at this quickly. This is so important. Eh? Um, you're going over three years, but it's monthly. Exactly. So, so 12 times three gives the 36. I tell you guys, that is so important. 36, very, very important. Okay. So let's see what we get if we have this. We can automatically use our calculator and it gives us an answer. So that would be 20331.27. Great, great. Okay, that was wonderful. I think so that they can see how the nominal, very important, of course, the 15% per exactly. annum is not going to give you that same amount. It's the compounding that actually does that. Okay, but what if we want to? What if we want to get an annual rate, an annual effective rate that's going to do exactly the same and give us that same amount? What we're going to do is we're going to convert the nominal rate of fifteen percent per annum compounded monthly to the equivalent annual effective. Logically, must be higher. Here we go. What's the formula? Formula is one plus. Okay, so we're going to go straight into it. One plus I E F equals to one plus. So I know 0 0.15 divided by 12 or to the power. Very important. Remember what I said earlier? You, you work when you do the conversions, work within a year. Don't, don't worry about the three years. You only work the formula. You work within the year. Let's have a look. I guess that gives us to the power 12. Okay, remember we're not working over the, we're not, this conversion only works for the year. We work it for the year and then we use it later on. Okay, and there they are. How are we doing? I think we're doing pretty fine. And then it's one plus by F. Now we can use our calculator. It's one point zero one five to the okay. power of. You are just simplified using a calculator. Okay. Nothing in that. So this is equals to one point zero two five minus one. Taking one to the other side. So what do we get? Okay, now this, I'm going to write it straight down. Easy to work out on a calculator. Now, also, guys, what you need to do, um, let me just write this down, then I'm going to chat to you. 1607, and then it's 54517. Just something very, very important. Work with the whole decimal. Don't, don't round off here, especially in calculations, because you, otherwise, you know, your teachers always said, that, you know, remember how we, we teach this? Exactly. You, you're not going to get a maximum accuracy. If you don't, so always work with a full decimal. It, it gives you a far better answer, and you don't want to deprive yourself of money. Hey, yeah, okay, look exactly. at this. So that's the conversion to the the um, annual effective. Notice higher than the fifteen percent, doing the same thing. Okay, nominal fifteen percent, and then your 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 annual effective is now slightly higher. Okay, last thing. Let's let's do the same. Should we have a look at what happens now? If we, if we now use the annual effective rate over a period of three years rather than the 36 months. Okay, should we talk? Do you want to help me on this one? We'll now use the, the annual effective rate to show that the same accumulated amount will be obtained as when using the monthly rate. So let's go to the formula. 13,000. Okay, Open now bracket. one plus. Now we take that whole decimal. Okay, exactly. one. Notice uh, we definitely use the full decimal for maximum accuracy and we raise that now. Be very careful, people. What are we going to do? Is it 36 or 3? Okay, remember annual is 3 years, eh? so it's going to go 3. But the compounded monthly produces 36 months that's over the 3 years. Okay, here we go. So that's definitely going to be over 3 years. That's so important there. And watch this. This is the magic. It gives you eggs. You can actually check this if, at home. 
Look at that, exactly the same. Same amount, that's so interesting, exactly the same amount. Yeah. Right guys, can you pause the DVD? It's a beautiful activity. Have a bash at that and we'll see you in a minute. Great, magical exercise, hey? I hope you really understand nominal and effective rates. In conclusion, the, the nominal rate, 18% per annum, compounded monthly. Man, you've got to bring in compounding in at quoted rate. The annual effective, slightly higher, and what it does, it does exactly the same. So instead of working out over the months, you can now work out over the year. And really pretty easy, you've got the formula to do it, Point is, why do we use this? Why would we want to do the conversion? Simply this is sometimes you have a lot of money and you have different interest rates from different banks. Guess what you can do? You convert them all to the annual effective rate then you can make a comparison and see which bank's going to give you the better deal. I think this is really, really superb. Don't you think, Anvela? That was mm. so, so much nice. Thank you, guys. In our next lesson, we're going to be doing the fluctuating interest rate. Man, I hope you enjoyed that lesson as much as we did. Magical moments, we're gonna, you're going to become wealthy one day and you're going to thank the Learning Channel for teaching you financial math skills. Have a great one. See you next time. Bye-bye. Cheers. Summary. In this lesson, you learned to demonstrate the relationship between nominal and effective rates, that nominal rates are quoted annual rates, but don't take into consideration the effects of different compounding periods. The effective rate is the annual rate that yields the same accumulated amount as the calculation involving different compounding periods.